My guest today is Jennifer Kassler Price, curator of Asian, African, and Ancient American Art at the Kimball Art Museum. Um, it's a really fascinating topic that we're going to talk about today, the lives of Mayan gods. How did this idea come about? So actually the curator for the exhibition, James Doyle, who is at the Messon uh, Museum of Anthropology at Penn State, but was at the Metropolitan at the time in 2018, came to me with this idea about doing an exhibition that focused on uh, divinity in Maya art, um, how are divinities portrayed, um, what is their interaction with uh, the ruling families, um, and probably another really important component in the show is that in the last 10 years, um, we have now deciphered uh, artist signatures mm. that can be identified on both the pottery and the carved monuments, and that's a really big breakthrough. And so also kind of looking at the relationship between artists and patrons. Mm. So he came to me with the idea and actually to ask if we would be willing to lend two of our beautifully painted codex style vessels mm. and I immediately said yes and then I said are you looking for a second venue <laughs> and then I also said would you like to also borrow our sensor stands and that's what we're standing okay. in front of here today and they illustrate a lot of um, uh, the important points that are kind of brought home in the exhibition and that is you know how do you visualize the gods how do you personify um, unexplained phenomena like the sun mm. the moon um, the afterlife, um, but then also like rain, uh, corn, and these are some of the themes that are explored uh, in the exhibition. And uh, what we have here are these essentially very elaborate candlestick holders, um, but there you see that they're cylindrical uh, shape, um, those are hollow, and at the top you would have a very plain bowl that would hold copal, which is a resin that's burned uh, for incense. Uh, so it creates this, you know, smoke and this smell. And we can see that they're adorned with these elaborate kind of stacked headdresses or masks. Um, and they're depicting um, various elements from the underworld, but also from Maya creation myths. So we're um, here in front of um, a really magnificent sculpture of the maize god. It's from the site of Copan, which is in Honduras, and it comes from Temple 22, which had 20 of these figures of the maize god um, adorning the facade of the temple. So maize is the most important crop uh, in the Maya world. Um, it's still an important crop today. Um, the, the Maya believed that gods had a life cycle. So they were begot, they were born, um, they were youth, they were adults, um, they became aged, they died, and then some of them were reborn. And when you think about maize um, as a crop and the life cycle of maize, you have a seed that's planted in the ground, it grows up, um, you know, the corn, you know, is plucked, it's eaten, it's given as feed, um, it kind of dies you know, on the vine, but then there's you know, the seed kernels that are left and they're replanted and it sprouts up again. So it's the maize god is a metaphor and a paradigm and a parallel for the life cycle of humans and in particular for Maya ruled uh, royalty. So we have this royal woman, um, she's decked out in this fantastic uh, woven garment, this hui peel, which has wonderful um, geometric designs on it. It has all these fantastic details of the fringe, uh, that's below the robe, um, just the way that her hands are carved. Um, she's wearing a shell bracelet and you can see kind of the shells going in different directions and you think about a bracelet made of shells and they're not all gonna be facing one way. And you can also think about them rattling and kind of making yeah. noise. She's wearing this fantastic headdress that has this um, kind of fantastic a uh, monster mask, uh, probably uh, again a, a deity that's being represented, Quetzal feathers, and then in her hand she's actually holding a deity. The deity is Kavil, that's the god of lightning, and that is actually the one of the patron gods of royalty. Um, you see that his head is turned up and uh, we call it a, a, a smoking axe is kind of going into his forehead and then his one of his legs ends uh, in a kind of serpent or fishtail. Over half the works in the exhibition have never been seen mm -hmm. in the U.S. before. Um, nearly half of the loans are from Mexico and Guatemala, mm -hmm. which is really astounding. Um, I doubt that these will ever travel again, mm -hmm. so if you don't see them here at the Kimball, yeah. um, you'll have to go to Mexico or Guatemala. Okay. So.
April through September 3rd. Um, it's been a fun learning about this show, uh, Jennifer. It's always fun um, going through these shows with you and learning about the lives of these gods and of the artists. Uh, it's an interesting perspective on a, a topic. We might recognize these works, but uh, a very different uh, way to kind of go about learning about them. So we appreciate what you guys have done. So. Thank you, thank you. Well, enjoy the exhibition. Come on and see it. Yeah.